GZ here, we are talking about grilling. This is a great dish to teach you inside that you can actually take outside and it's so delicious, especially when you're using Harry and David 18 ounce bone-in ribeye steaks. Look at that baby. Now, really important, these steaks get seasoned about six to eight hours before you cook them. What this is is celery, sugar, ground pepper, cayenne, a little bit of black pepper, and that's it. Put it in the fridge overnight, uncovered, so it gets dry, and that is ready to cook. Before we do that, we have some fantastic shallots. You want the skin, that is gonna provide a little cup, a little sort of vessel for them to cook. So we're gonna cut them in half lengthwise, just like that. Keep the stem on because that holds the shallot together. We're gonna put a generous glug. A glug is that. That's a glug. Just cover the bottom of the sheet pan with extra virgin olive oil. Then we're gonna take our shallots and we're gonna place them skin side up. Remember that seasoning mixture for the steak as well as for the shallots, just a bit. And sprinkle some fresh thyme with the stem just like that. And we're gonna put this in an oven 400 degrees for about 35 minutes until they're really caramelized. Let's attack our steak when the bone's there. It doesn't shrink as much and that bone provides a sensational amount of flavor. Bone in is the best. We brought them out of the fridge one hour before. Yes, one hour they have to sit room temperature before we put them in a very hot cast iron pan. When we put the steak in, we want to put it in away from us. So if it splatters, it splatters that way, not toward us. Two to three minutes aside, we're going to bring it down to medium heat. The most important thing to have is a digital thermometer. We want the internal temperature to be 120 degrees. Why 120? That's rare. And rare is going to rest to 125, which is the perfect temperature for the steak. We're going to add a little bit of herb to the pan and baste it. Remember, the butter provides the flavor, and the flavor is now completely rosemary. You see that crust? That's what you want. All the juice is on the outside. So it's got to rest so the juices go back in. And the best way to do this is pour a lovely glass of Harry and David Cabernet Sauvignon. The baby is rested. Oh man, God is that beautiful. We have our shallots lined up, look how gorgeous they are. I like to cut the bone out just like that because people like to gnaw on that, look at that. Is that beautiful? Oh yes it is. Put that right there. Okay, and then you cut it against the grain. Oh yeah, so beautiful. Notice the board is dry, why? Because the juices are in the steak, not on the board. There you have it, Harry and David's fine meats. And this is all about summer grilling, the essence of shallots and steak, the way it's supposed to be served. Bon appetit.